Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. Today I got a different type of video for you. I'm gonna be talking about my first ever gigabyte experience and second and third as well. Uh, so I have three gigabyte uh, graphics cards that I was testing out. I'm gonna keep one of them. It's gonna be the Oris Master and I'll talk about why and if you're interested in getting a new 4070 Ti, maybe you've been watching the benchmarks and you have an X3D chip and you wanna get something that the X3D is pretty much more powerful than. Um, so. Stay tuned for that if you're interested in, in kind of some of the feedback and some of the points you need to watch out for. Uh, so here <coughs> is the box for the gaming OC, right? So this is like the basic model of the Gigabyte cards. It is the overclock one, so it's kind of like the starter. <coughs> this is the Elite, right? So this is looks identical. It's the Aorus, but it's the Elite. It looks identical to the Master right and this is their best right so let's talk about price prices 870 for the um for the gaming oc so that one is on sale right now on amazon for like 840 so you're looking at you know again 870 then you have 880 or 890 really for the um for the elite the oris elite now that's going to be better cooling better higher power limit slightly better card overall right i think it looks better um, so that's going to be 890. <clears throat> if you want to go all in, you've got the master, right? So now you're starting to get close to 40, 80 territory. So I would really say before you get like a top end premium card, weigh those two out. Cause there was just a 4080 on sale for 999, uh, with, with, uh, a $100 coupon. So, and that was the Ventus, but that was the base model, right? So again, weigh out your options, see which one suits your needs, see what you're looking to spend and kind of go for there. Um, the, the differences, right? The differences when I was using the gaming OC is that I was at 20, 2970 megahertz, no issues. But if I try to go to 2985, I would get some crashes in Warzone uh, when I'm playing ranked. Um, Sheikah and all those other, like, not a Sheikah, but uh, Vondel, the smaller maps, TDM, it doesn't make a difference, right? But let's talk about the Elite. So that one I was able to get another 15 megahertz out of. Um, and keep in mind, graphics cards are all silicon lottery based, so you might get a gaming OC that gives you, you know, 3.1 gigahertz or something crazy, and somebody's struggling to get 2970 with an Aorus Master, right? So that's a little bit of luck there. Um, I think it was a Frame Chasers video where some of the Gigabyte Eagle models were outperforming um, what should have been the top end models, so just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah. So I was at 2970 with the, um, let me catch my thoughts, with the um, gaming OC. Then I was at 2985, completely stable with the, um, the Elite, which looks just like the Master. Then with the Master, I was actually able to hit 3 gigahertz, but I couldn't sustain 3, 315, right? So 3015 uh, gigahertz or megahertz, it would, uh, it would crash. It was, all right. it was crashing the war zone once I reached that point. All the cards I was able to hit um, four or 12, nine, 12, 48. So I was trying to do um, 11,750 megahertz on the memory. So plus 1248 put me right at that sweet number. I didn't try to push it any further. That's just kind of where I wanted to be. Um, if you're in the market for one of these cards, right? The things you'll need to look out for, because you got 870, you got 990 and you got 920. They're like the same ballpark. You're talking about like 50 bucks, 50, 60 bucks. And I would say get the master. It's a better cooler. It is also, it has an LCD screen. It is a little bit taller than the elite though, right? So that's the biggest difference uh, from the master to the elite is the actual, the front plate where it says Aorus or Aorus. Um, on the, some people are going to like the way the elite presents a little bit better versus on the master. The master has, you could think of it as, you know, spending a little bit more money for potentially uh, getting a higher OC, but definitely getting a higher boost clock out of the box. The out of the box boost clocks are like 2655 versus like 2670 uh, from the elite to the master. But if that LCD is what you saw, right? You saw that on a card and then you see the body looks the exact same, just make sure that you're getting the master, not the elite, right? The Elite, to me, is a great card. It's phenomenal. It was a little bit taller, not longer, but taller when I stacked them side by side. 
And I think it's because of that LCD screen, the versus just that that nice RGB strip that shows uh, Oris. For some people, like I said, that's gonna be fine. But if that LCD screen is what you were looking for, then you won't be able to get the um, the Elite. So spend that extra thirty bucks. And for me, in my case, I was able to just it was just scaled with the models, right? Each model that went up, I was able to get a higher OC. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of share that that with you. If you're in the market, 4070 Ti, um, I've had a great ex first experience with Gigabyte. Uh, I will be trying out their motherboards in the future. So Gigabyte power supplies are still out of the question uh, from the days of blowing up, but the graphics cards are now in play. Um, if I do see one, I'll grab it. That was one of the ones that was I didn't even entertain in the past. So graphics cards are in play. Motherboards, I'll give a test and see you know how well it works. Um, and if it's suitable, then, you know, we might just we might just be dropping Asus all together. Um, but it's not like I won't ever buy an Asus product. I don't really it doesn't matter like that. I think every product can vary. Every product can have a fault, like all the X3D motherboards had the same issue. But it's just how the company has went about um, handling that issue that makes me want to explore other options. So MSI to me has been uh, one of the better companies. <clears throat> not necessarily in how they handle, but just in my personal experience, um, all the way from the bazooka that I got with my first, first PC, which was a pre-built. It was um, a B350, decent uh, decent board. It was a Ryzen Fire 1400, which was trash. Um, but that that was, uh, like I said, a pretty good experience. Then I went to the B550 boards, because that kind of carried over, and I got a 1600. And then I went and got a 2700X and a B550. Um, that was the Tomahawk. Then I went with Intel and I had, I think a gaming edge Wi-Fi, whatever that it was. It was like whatever the gaming edge plus I'm trying to think of it. Whatever Best Buy had the black and red one is the, um, the Z 370 or X 370 Z 370. I think it was, it wasn't the Z 390. Um, I got that, that series, but carry all the way through. I'm using the Z 790, uh, edge Wi-Fi now. And I had a Z690 Tomahawk. None of them have given me any issues. The only issue I had was one that I did. I bent the USB port on the on the board. Just I was trying to push a fan in and I bent the header. So that was a user error. That wasn't even like the board's fault. So yeah, I like them. Um, I'm gonna see what Gigabyte's about just to see if it's gonna be a, a viable option as far as boards go. I'll give it one go. Uh, if y'all got any recommendations, obviously the from what I've learned, through my research and just, you know, look, getting these different cards, the, when you look at the Oris lineup, there's the elite, which isn't necessarily like a budget, but you could think of it as their entry to enthusiasts, right? It's not, it's not all the way in. Cause that's when you look at the master series. So, and there is one, one higher tier when you, um, when you get into the motherboard side of things. But when you look at the, the cards, you got the, the gaming OC, the Eagle, which is at the bottom, the gaming OCs, which is supposed to be like their mid range. And then you got the Oris lineup. So that is something, again, if you're not too familiar, like I was um, about a week and a half ago, then now, you know, and hopefully this video helped you out. I don't know. It's a different type of video for me. So usually I don't do this whole stand up and have a little chat, but I wanted to share the, the experience I had with these three cards before I sent them back. Like I said, I'm gonna keep the, the master. I'm actually recording this video <clears throat> right now on the, um, on the AORUS master. So my 7950X build is right here on the, on the side here. Um, and yeah, let me know if you wanna see anything in the future. Um, I'll probably keep this in here um, just for more testing. It's, it, the performance is actually very, very good. Um, you, if you are, is this your first experience with my channel? then okay, cool. You might not have seen my recent benchmarks, but there's gonna be a playlist at the back end. So the last 20 seconds of the video, there'll be a playlist with all the 4070 Ti benchmarks. If you're a Warzone player and you do have an X3D chip and some decent RAM, I'll also uh, make an effort to include my RAM timings, um, maybe as a, you know, a little snippet. Uh, I have the team group DDR5 7200 kit and I've tuned it down to 6000 C28. Um, I got some help from Matt B, the Warzone channel, and he recommended some additional tweaks. So I've went ahead and implemented those. Uh, but yeah, overall, let me know if y'all have any questions. 
and we can go ahead and, and get that in the comment section. Catch you on the flip. Be easy.